Okay, this is my uh, ghetto rain water collecting system. I'll be adding more barrels, but uh, I'm uh, terrible mechanically, so I got to do things sometimes unconventionally, but they usually work. So here's what I did. got this uh, spout from Depot. I got three of these, so I've got six barrels total. Got to find a better way to hook this up. I mean, it lasts a little while, but, you know, I'll figure something out. But it comes down here. you got to remove the regular one, which I did here. Uh, you gotta, you got to basically break the bracket open that holds it. And i got to use a big screwdriver to wedge it out. So there's no way to unscrew them, at least this type of gutter, the way it was installed. So you get this down, this spout. Okay, these are uh, some Rubbermaid uh, Roughneck. The Roughnecks I liked because they were seemed pretty thicker than the other ones. Okay, and they seem like they last longer. So you get the downspout, you just uh, trace out the hole, stick it in, put some screening material around it inside to keep bugs out, and seal it off. And that's it. And then you have a one just like this is connecting here. So there's a connection there again with screening material. I don't know if you can see it, but that's connecting these two together. One mistake I made, I think I should have had these higher, because when you got this, you know, this kind of big of a drain pipe, you don't have to worry about it not draining. It's going to drain. A little bit of rain fills both of these up very easily. So I got rubber bands or, you know, you don't even need to do that. Um, you can just put it around it. That'll keep the bugs out. Um, I've got six of these now. I've got three of the four corners of the house. I'll be adding six more. I may not even connect them because if you just put some rain barrels beside it, you can easily take a bucket and just fill them up and then you'll have more because obviously Look, I'm losing water here because of this, which I should have had higher anyway. But, so I'm not sure I'm going to connect them. I may, I don't know. Because I can, it's easy to just take a bucket and fill them up if you put them right next to it. You know, cutting the holes was easy again. You just kind of trace around how much you need. Uh, I used a drill bit to drill holes all around, and then I just took a sharp kitchen knife and cut it out, and it worked fine, okay? Like I said, I'm terrible at mechanics, but this works fine. Uh, so this is kind of a ghetto way of doing it. But the reason I did it this way instead of buying rain barrels is a lot cheaper. I think these Roughnecks were about $15 a piece. This is 34 gallon. So based on uh, looking at the options, this seemed to be the least expensive way to do it. Now, how am I going to use the water? Well, you can dip it out with buckets, okay, or a watering can. I bought this. I bought one of these. Okay, this is a folding. It's only like a 30 gallon. I didn't want a bigger one because I'm afraid they'd topple over. This is a 30 gallon collapsible. It's got the hose connection down here. So what I will do is I will prop this up on four buckets to get some height because if you don't, the water doesn't flow very well. And I've got several different lengths of hoses. I'll attach the hose and then I can water with that. So I'll just move this to wherever I am. And I can just use a bucket to fill it. Just put it right next to where I'm at, propped up. Dip buckets in these rain barrels, throw it in here with the hose attached, then I can water. Um, I use a lot of water in a dry season here. We're in southwest Florida. Dry season is, you know, winter through spring. I mean, it's almost half the year we don't get a lot of water. But you get rain occasionally. So I'm trying to eliminate the need to water, use the city water, because I use a lot of water. That's why I need more rain barrels, because I got to get more stored up. Um, most dangerous time is late May till mid-June or late June when before the rainy season starts. It's blazing hot. 
um, you hardly get any rain at all. It's blazing hot, 90s, and you know, if you don't get water on a lot of your trees or plants, they just shrivel up and brown up. It does a lot of damage to them. So this is my solution. If I get six more barrels, I ought to be have, being able to store about 300 gallons of water. And I'll probably add even more after that. 300 gallons, that's not bad. That's pretty good for storing water for watering and even for personal use in an SHTF situation. So I think that's a lot, but I can I can get even more. Like I said, they're about 16 bucks a piece for these. I think they're going to do a good job. Very sturdy and thick. So this is my uh, ghetto rainwater collecting system. This drain pipe I got at uh, Home Depot too. You know, they said they had no holes, had holes and no holes. Well, it had holes, but it's not a big deal because you really you want it to drain. You don't want water sitting in here, you know, right in the middle in between them. So it's all right if it's got holes. So I don't think that's a bad thing. It, it gets gets in there fine. With little holes, you're not going to lose that much water anyway. So that's it. If you have any questions, make a comment try to answer you but this is my solution to gathering rainwater I can gather a whole lot we'll see you later